This is the lever that I modeled the other day and I also textured in Substance Painter and I'm going to do something kind of similar to it in Blender. Now, I mean, I, I will probably always prefer Substance Painter for texturing uh, stuff like this, but uh, we can do something kind of similar to that in Blender. So here's what we have. Uh, I've got the outside with the out material and I've got the inside. And let's go do this in the shader editor here. We're gonna create that sort of rusty metal look. A bunch of different ways of doing this. Uh, I'm gonna do it kind of a simple way in Control T. We use the object coordinates here and uh, we'll make some changes to that noise texture in just a minute. I'm gonna add a converter color ramp. Drag the color in here. And I'm gonna add a couple of spots here and we're going to make this sort of a brownish color and this you probably probably have to tweak uh maybe a dark kind of red and because rust actually is uh quite variable uh in terms of sort of yellows and browns and blacks and even blue sometime uh we could use that to our advantage doesn't always have to look that uh, realistic. This last key here is gonna determine actually the, the color of, of the metal itself. So let's change this to something like two. We'll bring the detail up to 16 and the detail up to 0 0.75. And let's have a look at that as we plug that into the base color of the principal shader. So this is what we're getting here. And then again, like I say, it's up to you to tweak these to the way that you, the way that you like these. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we'll bring the metallic all the way up. And just mess around with this a little bit more. Okay. All right, so we're going to need some bump on here and I wanna use this noise texture and another one. So I'm just gonna grab this and duplicate it down here, first of all. And we're actually gonna use this color ramp as well. I'm gonna bring that down here. But I'm gonna reset this one here. Let's reset that. I'm gonna pull these in just a little bit. And plug that in here. And for this one, we'll start with this one. Let's go for 50, we'll keep the detail up. Bring that down to 0 0.5. And we'll do a bump with, with this one. So, uh, vector bump, color into height, and normal into normal. And that's crazy, so we'll go for 0 0.1. We'll, we'll, we'll start with that and we'll see. Let's watch as I pull this. See, it gets a little bit smoother. So find the spot that you like. Let's get that rust going in, however. And for that one, we're going to need, um, we need another bump. I may take this up here and get rid of it there. And leave that going into the bump and use this here. Going into there. I'll take this into the height here. And then what we'll do is we will take this normal, plug it into here, and this one into here. Let's make this 0 0.2. So that is going in a little bit better. Smooth that out a little bit. That's a little bit uh, crazy still. So what I'm gonna do is bring in another texture, another noise texture here. And I'll make this something like 20. And I'll put the detail up at maybe 10. Plug that in. And that'll sort of smooth out this, but we'll still have the bump there. So now we have the rust looking a little bit better. All right, so I mean, that's a start to that part right there. Okay, and you can tweak it to however much you like, depending on how much time you have. All right, so now I wanna work on the, the, the inside stuff. Um, 
And I think what I'll do is I'll take this, I'll select it all, and I'll copy it. And then we'll come to the in. Let's get rid of that. And control V, we'll paste it. So now we have the same material on the inside as well. Okay, cool. Now what I'm going to do is I want to put a pattern on here and it's going to be a normal map and I'll provide that for you uh, in the description. It's very easy to make and maybe I'll show you more about how I made it sometime but if you just want to download it and use it you can. Uh, I'm going to come in here and let's see. I'm going to select everything. Let's uh, select in view and uh, project from view. Let's just do it that way for now. And come down to the bottom here and add image texture. That's going to be the normal map in a moment. Control T, we're going to be using UV. Let's open that normal map. It's going to be this one, normal pattern two. We'll put that in and we'll switch this to non color. And we are going to add a mapping node for this normal map node. Let's connect the color to the color. And I'm going to slide all this stuff over and plug this into here. Now we can start to see a pattern here. Let's go over to the UV editor. And if it's not showing up, let's come over here and normal pattern. There it is. And I need to come in here. And this is the piece that I really care about here. So I'm going to scale this up until it takes up more of the space here and let's go back to the shading tab you can see that but I'm also going to scale it here by two two and two in the Y the only thing is I don't want that pattern on the sides and it's not showing up on the sides right now and so that's good but it shows up a little bit here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I think I will focus just on that. And what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll um, select this actually and this and go control I. And then in the materials, I have just the in material. I'm going to create another slot and I'm going to add the out material. And I'm going to assign. So it'll just have some rust and stuff like that, but we won't see any of this pattern. So we have that on there, and that's looking kind of nice, pretty easy and quick to do. And so now what we want to do is add the text on there, and it's going to go on here. So let me find that stuff. There it is. And again, there's different ways of doing this. I think one of the easiest ways is just to use a separate principal BSDF. So I'm going to shift D, I'm going to copy that down here. It's going to have the same... Uh, values. The only thing I might want to actually do is change the roughness maybe to 0 0.6 on this one and on this one maybe 0 0.6 and you can decide if you want to do that on the on the in one uh, as well or whatever. But let's go back to here and I'm going to add a mix shader. Put that in there. I think I'll plug this one in the top and that one in the bottom. All right, so we have that going on so far. Looks kind of crazy. Um, let's just focus on, on that one there. A little bit less loading. All right, so I want to put the word off there. And again, this is another image that I made. It's just a PNG with the word off on it. And I'll provide it for you or you can make your own. Uh, this is an image texture here. And it's control T. We're just going to use, um, we are probably going to use UV coordinates, are we? Yes, we are. So uh, let's come in here first of all. And I'm just going to take this and look from the front. And I'm going to press U, project from view. So we got that done. And then we'll come over here. And this is just going to be a bump. So let's drag that stuff down there. So vector bump. Drag the color into height and drag the normal into normal of this one. Let's get the actual image going though. Okay, this is the word off. So there it is. 
bring that in all right we're starting to see something um, let's take the color up here and plug that into the base color all right so we're starting to get that let's go over to the UV editor and let's switch this to the word off and we have this so I'm going to scale this up so the word is roughly in the middle let's go back to the shading tab we have that there only thing I wanted to do is I want to press invert because I want it to go in let's bring that back so we have our text on there now and we are in good shape okay now however we can see some funny stuff out here and I'll select that and you can see that all of this stuff is UV and it's overlapping this right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then I'm going to press Control I. So I've inverted my selection. I'm going to press G, and I'm just going to drag this outside of, of that. And now we have just the word off. We also seem to have some on here. So what I'm going to do for this part is I'm going to select uh, this and this. I'm going to press Control I. I'm going to go into the UV. And I'm going to bring back that off so I can see it. And I'm just going to move this away from off. And say bugger off. There we go. Um, you can try different uh, lights. Of course, lighting is going to be very important for this. So maybe what I'll do is I'll come back to here. And I'll put in a couple of, of, uh, of point lights. So reasonably quickly, we've been able to texture this uh, in Blender in a similar fashion to Substance Painter. And I think the the most interesting thing about this is the uh, addition of, of the normal map, which would be difficult to do um, in any other way that I know of in Blender. But the, the ability to use normals uh, like this uh, makes it really cool and open to lots of different possibilities. So you can try various patterns or imagine this kind of pattern on a sci-fi floor something uh, could look pretty cool all right so i'll leave it at that and you can experiment